The boil water notice is a precautionary measure to make sure the water didn't pick up any contaminants during the breaks, but not all of the water has been restored. Buchanan's coffee house was closed today. Yes, I had uh, actually had walked over to City Hall earlier this morning and just trying to figure out because I knew across the street they had water. But on this side or this side of the square, there wasn't any water. Owner Al Shacklett's family has lived in Blanco for more than a century. The coffee house is a labor of love, sitting half a block off the historic downtown square. But the water issues are frustrating. No, no water, no coffee. Mayor Mike Arnold has dealt with water issues before. So we have a great team that stays on top of it, and we have a plan in place to replace it all over, over the coming years. But the cold temperatures are a whole new strain on the water system in Blanco. We had a pretty hard freeze uh, the last couple nights. What's that's done is the top layer of soil and asphalt and all has gotten saturated, hardened and cars driving over it have pushed it down. A crew spent the night working in the freezing mud to restore the water, and many do have their water back. Right now, our citizens are under a boil notice. That's standard when there's a pipe break. But back at Buchanan's. I know everybody has their challenges, and, you know, I, I really like, I'm really very partial to Blanco. They're still waiting for the second crew to finish their work so they can go back to serving coffee. At the end of the day, it's, uh, you know, we'll sit here and we'll wait mm -hmm. and um, hopefully it'll happen sooner rather than later. The city has a hotline number on its website for Blanco residents who continue to have problems with their water. We have a link to it on our website, cbsaustin.com. Reporting in Blanco, Adele Uchita, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.